The buzz is building here in Toronto as fans are gathering for the first full day of matches in the World Cup of Soccer. And this major event is welcomed business for bars and restaurants after two years of tough lockdowns. You start hearing the horns honking, people waving their flags. Uh, and it's, you know, it's just great. It's a great environment to be enjoying. World Cup of Soccer is back in action after pandemic delays pushed the global event back by a year. And fans are excited to gather and celebrate the beautiful game once again. So what is it like being here to watch this? It's great actually. I think I'm the only Welsh person here. There's lots of secret American fans around, so I'm feeling a bit alone. But I've made some friends here, so they've been cheering for Wales, which is very nice. You just can't beat it, like being around people, strangers you don't know, and it's just everyone's here for this one thing. It's just really, really special. It's great to be back. Rocco co-owns Cafe Diplomatico here in Little Italy and tells me the soccer crowd is like no other, especially in Toronto. I always say it's the best city in the world because we are so diverse and you can experience so many different cultures and uh, World Cup soccer is the biggest sport in the world. As of today, bars and restaurants can start serving alcohol at 8 a.m., a special allowance approved by the province to let sports fans celebrate those early morning games. And Rocco says the extended hours of the soccer-driven boost to business is something his industry desperately needs. Of course, we need all the help we can get after those two brutal years plus. It was devastating. It wasn't only a financial burden. It was hard on our mentally to see the place empty, to lay off staff that's been working 30 years for us. Now that COVID restrictions are behind us, Rocco is back to doing what he does best by hosting a street party to celebrate Canada's first appearance in the World Cup in 36 years. We're closing down Clinton Street. We're pitching a huge tent, got uh, a live band, and we'll be televising the game. Yeah, it's a party. It is for sure. Team Canada hits the pitch on Wednesday and the street party kicks off here on Clinton starting at noon. Shauna Hunt City News.